We're in the back of our natural gas powered Chevy Suburban here at Western Wyoming Community College. Um, we've been working on this thing in the alternative fuels program and I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about the labels on the tanks. Now you can see our tank here uh, in the back of the Suburban uh, is a very important thing. Obviously this this vessel has to be able to hold 3600 PSI worth of fuel on a regular basis and there's a few important labels on these things that that are that are worth discussing. The most uh, important labels I guess you could say are placed here by the manufacturer of the tank and it's important that these labels be visible so that when the tank is routinely inspected to make sure that it's in good shape and that it's um, nothing, nothing's compromised and there's no damage. They, these labels need to be visible. And there's a few important things that they put on these labels that are worth talking about. You can see this tank was, was built by Lincoln Composites, okay? The manufacturer of the tank. It is for CNG only, which it's required to, to state that on the label. It is a type four tanks. You see it says dot type four. That means that this tank is made up of uh, purely carbon composite material and uh, with, a, with a plastic liner on the inside. It's got a model number there, serial number, all of that kind of stuff which is good to have in case at some point the manufacturer decides that you know maybe they need to recall the tank or there's some information they need to pass along to anybody that owns one of these tanks we can we can track them down that way. So it was manufactured in 5 of 2011. So May 2011 was when this tank was built. It says that it has a service pressure of 3600 PSI or 24,800 kilopascals if you like the metric system. And then it also says do not use after 5 2031. So what that tells us this tank has a life span of 20 years. After 5 2031, this tank must be taken out of service. It is not to be used. There's no way to, to recertify the tank. There's no way to test the tank. Uh, there is nothing that can be done. That's an expiration date. That is when the tank is not to be used anymore. So this is a 20-year tank. Some tanks are only 15-year tanks. Um, but this is, a, this is a really good tank. So it is, it is a 20-year tank. We also have information from the manufacturer, Lincoln Composites, you can see their contact information there and their website and all of that kind of stuff. And that information is good if you are a tank inspector and you need to contact them because you have a question about this tank. Um, those are all the most the all of the, the most important things that the, the tank needs to have as far as information is concerned. Um, there is also there's another label here that has some other bits of safety information that, that relate to this tank. Um, they talk about how the, the tank should be visually inspected uh, every 36 months or 36,000 miles and that is a federal DOT standard that no matter how the tank is used or when it's used every three, month, three years or 36,000 miles a thorough visual inspection must be performed on this tank. And so that's an important piece of information as well. Let's see, the only other thing that is actually missing from this label that needs to be there is the, the safety standard to which this tank was manufactured. And I don't know if it's underneath this strap, it might be. And if we were doing a, an inspection on this tank, we might have to undo this strap to, to look at what's possibly being overlapped here. But the safety standard usually that you're looking for is an ANSI standard, American National Standards Institute, NGV2. So that NGV2 standard is basically recognized by the Department of Transportation as the standard that is necessary to uh, make sure that the tank is manufactured in a way that it will be that it will be safe. And I don't see where it says NGV2 on that label unless I'm just missing it somewhere. But like I said, it could be it could be underneath this this strap, so we would have to we'd have to figure that out. The other label that's on this tank, if I step down here, and zoom out a little bit, you can see this blue label down here on the side, and that is an inspection label. When a tank is installed or a vehicle is converted to run on natural gas, this label must be 
put on here and it can only be put on by a certified CNG fuel system inspector. This label tells you that that you know it, it goes over that whole three months or three or three years not three months three years or 36,000 miles um, but then it shows it's got a, a label serial number it's got the inspector's name or the company's name that inspected it and then the inspector's certificate number and then it's stamped out up here so this tank was inspected in February of 2012 so uh, depending on the mileage you drive this thing doesn't get driven it gets driven a fair amount of mileage but it doesn't go 36,000 miles in three years so this one will have to be inspected again in February of 2015 which at the time this video is recorded is still is well it's about a year off a year away uh, so at that point we will have to perform an inspection on this tank to recertify the tank and the high pressure fuel system so where all of our, our high pressure lines come out over here and go up to the engine compartment all that stuff has to be inspected every three years or 36,000 miles now once we get past that May of 2031 like it said on the other label then we're done uh, there isn't any kind of inspection we can do we can't put another sticker on here to certify it um, there's there's nothing that we can do you see a lot of used CNG tanks out there on the market and some of them are actually expired and the people that are selling them are saying things like well if you just get it inspected get it recertified you can get a new label you can't get a new expiration date the expiration date that's put on there when the tank is manufactured that's that's firm that's fixed there's nothing that can be done about that so anyway those are the labels that are found on a CNG tank any CNG tank that you if you're thinking you wanna you wanna start learning about this technology and it's something that you wanna maybe get your hands on you need to check those labels you need to make sure that they are that the tanks are NGV2 certified that they have all the correct information in place that they are not expired that they are legitimate that they have everything that is needed in order to in order to serve you well uh, and be able to handle all the, the high pressure that a CNG tank has to handle 